Hey guys, my name is James Mason. I'm with the Facebook group Transparent Traders. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the best strategy for short selling stocks. So before we go any further, all I ask is for you to hit the subscribe button and share some of my videos and let others know about what we have going on here. And for those who already don't know, I have a free stock trading course up in the playlist section. So let's get into it. So first off, I like to use the Bollinger Bands. Makes things simple. I don't have a hundred lines going everywhere and whatnot. And I also like to use the MACD and RSI. So the first thing that I look for when I'm looking to take a short in a stock, but I'm gonna swing it. So this is the daily chart, the one year, one day chart right here. This is ticker TEVA. And what I would look for is if it came off of a solid set of green MACD candlesticks. And what I am not looking for is if it has just been dragging out for so long with the red MACD candlesticks. Now you can pick some off here and there, but the longer this drags on, the less of a chance you have. So you know, look, look for these green spikes on the daily candlesticks and especially something like this where it has a good run and then it starts to convert. This is when I start to look for my next setup. And that will be a candlestick closing below this bottom Bollinger Band line right here. As you can see right here, we're just a few candlesticks into the red MACD. You have this gap down and because it had gap down so much it actually you know turned green for that day and then that following day. Now the first day overall you really don't want to get into it but it that's also situational. So that's a decision that you'll have to make as you watch it throughout that day when it's actually below that first Bollinger Band line but the best way is to always wait until that next candlestick. As you can see right here, and I'll zoom in a little bit more. So wait until the next candlestick to see how this one responds. Now this one, obviously it, it gapped up a little bit, you know, from the prior day right here, but it gapped up and then ran up a little bit and then it started coming back down because I, well, in theory, if I would have been watching this, I would have watched this run up to see how high it was going to go. And then when it started pulling back down, that's when I would have started, you know, to decide if I was going to enter this trade to short it with put contracts. So let's just say if I did right here, <clears throat> and let's say if I waited for it to actually break the opening of this candlestick and it went down and I got in a little bit once the uh, daily candlestick was red. So I have a great entry at this point. Now, again, this is swing trading. I'm going to buy enough time on my contracts. Usually I prefer, honestly, three to four weeks. The more, the better. Obviously it's going to cost, but trust me, buying that time is insurance. So let's just say I got in right here at, at $17.62. Now that day it would have went down. I'd have had a little bit of profit, you know, nothing major, but the following day I would have been in the red the next day, the red, and then, you know, this day right here, pretty much back to where I started. But then as you, as you look, you see this just dying off at this point. And that's what I look for right there. So this one right here, honestly, I wouldn't have played it because it, didn't really have a significant amount of, you know, green MACD candlesticks, but you know, you do see right here where this closed below that bottom Bollinger band and the next day red, and then, you know, went up a little bit and then it just trickled on down. Just backing up a little bit. If we look back in this ticker right here, if you look at December 3rd, you can see where 
and it closed below that bottom Bollinger Band. And then the next day it got down, but it pulled up because you know it had moved too much, so it pulled up. And again, if you were watching this at this point, you would have to determine is this a good time for you to get in? Me personally, I would have said yes because this prior day right here. So you can see right here, if you would have got in at, we'll just say $20.28, this following day it dropped off to 1938, and then the next day it got down and ended up closing at 1843 with a low around 18 um, around 1782 and then it kind of went up a little bit and then just died off more after that so that is the best strategy for how to to short sell a stock using the bollinger bands now i just showed you in terms of swing trading but this holds true when you're day trading as well so i appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video and I will see you in the next one.